All right, guys, what's up? Long time no see. This review is going to be about the uh, brand new Electro Harmonics op amp big muff. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Really quickly, you have a volume tone, a sustain, just like the original big muff. But then you have the option to turn off the op amp, turn on the op amp. I like to keep mine on, obviously, for the saturation and the uh, the treble boost you kind of get out of it. And we'll check out the tone. Also really dope, I think, is the box that it comes in because obviously most of us that are getting this pedal are probably huge Smashing Pumpkins fans and uh, when you open it up, you're pumpkin pie. So they even put a little homage in the coloration and, uh, and the box. So let's hear the tones on this bad boy. Alright guys, for this review I'll be using my uh, 60's um, Fender Road Worn Strat, made in Mexico. Pickups are all stock, they're Tex-Mex. Uh, a little hotter pickup, but uh, definitely fine for our purposes. And I also have my uh, EVH 5153 head and uh, matching cab. So uh, it's going to be going through a whole pedal board here, but you shouldn't notice any uh, tonal differences. Alright, so uh, here's the dry tone. On the neck pickup of the Strat, and uh, yeah, here's what it sounds like. go so as you can see it gets uh, gets pretty rowdy um, and uh, honestly it's like pumpkins tone in a box I have to say uh, it's obviously uh, useful in other applications um, but uh, I'll do uh, one more pumpkins riff here just so I can show off its uh, tone of versatility single note stuff there for you guys so you could hear the, uh, the differences in that. Um, so I do want to check out the other side here. Now if I have all the controls set the same, I'm going to play a riff and then you know turn it off and show you the same riff twice. Obviously the chunkier the two, if you turn the op amp off. Now 
Now, in my opinion, uh, the op amp gives it a little more of like a treble boost, of course. I think you guys can hear that. And um, certainly, it uh, it kills it in like the Brian May spectrum, I feel like. has almost that uh, Queen kind of top end sound with it uh, that I think Billy Corgan loved using for his solos and such. So it's really cool if you don't know the, the history behind the uh, original Big Moss. Uh, Billy and James E. Howe were using back in the 90s. It was uh, their 70s versions with this op amp circuit that you really can't uh, get nowadays unless you pay, you know, through the nose to get the original pedals from the 70s. So that's why original Big Muffs are uh, very sought after. And other guitarists, of course, use them as well. Um, and in this case, uh, this one's been made, you know, for us and for a very cheap price. I think I got mine for 80 bucks. So uh, definitely check it out. Um, I'll just run it through some tonal uh, characteristics here too, just to see how the tone uh, can kind of be rolled off to find a sweet spot. And I think you'll see what I mean as I go through. So here we'll keep the op amp on. I'm gonna turn the tone all the way down so you can hear what that sounds like. The sustain, uh, you know, we could pull that in and out. But here's what it sounds like with the tone all the way down. Very uh, crazy, crazy low. Right there is kind of when you first get a little trouble. Then you hear the fizz coming in there, and that's kind of what the uh, the pumpkin sound is. This is usually where I keep mine notched at. And uh, actually, if you watch the reverb video with uh, Billy Corgan introducing this pedal, he kind of keeps it the same spot on the Strat. So I think I'm around the right place. Every guitar reacts differently, but this is around you know where I like to keep it as well. Uh, but we'll keep going. I think you find the end of it is kind of unusable, but then again, maybe someone creative out there can find a use for it. Uh, it definitely ends up sounding a little more like a broken speaker. Uh, I'll show you what it sounds like with the sustain turned all the way down too, which should really kind of eliminate the pedal. Not much drive coming out of there. I like to back off the tone a little bit just because, or the sustain rather, sorry, because um, it gives you a little bit more articulation between the notes. I think when it's already, already cranked, uh, you don't hear as much through there. But uh, you can certainly play other types of music on this. Like uh, I was messing around with some Black Keys riffs the other day, so I have a little super phaser up here. I'll turn that on as well. Again, uh, you know, Corgan definitely likes to use his phasers too, uh, so that definitely has a little bit more of a pumpkin-y sound, but I didn't have the octave on that riff because uh, I'm selling mine, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the big muff in a nutshell there. I think it's really, you're going to buy it if you want the op amp, and uh, 
and that circuit. It definitely sounds unique to the regular Big Muff, but you can uh, turn it off and kind of just get a normal Big Muff sound. But uh, to me, yeah, the crunch is, is king. So hope you guys uh, enjoyed the review and uh, check out the Big Muff Pie. It's an op amp. It's an awesome pedal. Peace out.